Hello again everyone, it's Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. I'm along the New York, Susquehanna and Western Railway in Utica, New York on Schuyler Street. Pretty sure we're going to be catching the Susquehanna plowing its Utica, Maine today using Plow 95 manufactured by OF Jordan at least 60 years ago for a Canadian railroad. The snowplow eventually found its way to Griffiths Air Force Base in Rome, New York to plow base tracks there and the Susquehanna picked it up many years ago. The area received about 12 to 18 inches of snow on Friday. You'll note that the plow plow's wedge faces only in one direction that's because it was designed to operate on a two-track main line so whichever way it pushed the snow would be pushing it away from the other main line track. It works very well up here in the Utica branch. It was last used in 2021. You'll notice it seemed there isn't a lot of snow that will be plowed when we get south of Utica but there hasn't been a train since the major snowstorm hit and there's been a couple of thaws so there'll be a lot of ice on the rails too so they'll want to clear the snow and the ice off even though it'll seem like in some places there isn't too much snow that'll be being cleared south of here at Paris Station the line summit is about a thousand foot increase in elevation a lot more snow up there and uh, snow drifts as well I'm on the corner of Schuyler and Cleveland. The Utica Plow Extra is making its way southbound on Schuyler Street now. The locomotive is a CSX lease unit, 2651, a GP38. The normal Utica Power, number 3040, has been out of service for the last few weeks. They'll be plowing to Sanger Field today, 23 miles south of Utica. It's 25 degrees and the light snow is falling right now. The railroad is not subject to the vehicle and traffic laws of New York State. It will not be stopping at that stop sign.
Well, I'm king of the hill, so to speak, on a 12-foot snow pile just south of Genesee Street in Utica. The caboose to the left is a former New York Central caboose, and the station was the DL and W's New Hartford station. Utica acquired this land in the early 1920s, and the DL and W never changed the name of the station. It is currently the beer hub. And here comes the plow extra. I'm now atop a much shorter snow pile, this time in Chadwick's. And a father and his young daughter are here to watch the plow head by as well. I'm on yet another snow pile, this time in Clayville, just south of the lower Main Street crossing. Clayville is smack dab in the middle of Paris Hill, a 
percent grade, which was the ruling grade on the Delaware, Lackawanna and Western Railroad, a predecessor of the Susquehanna. They'll be taking it pretty slow up here. The speed limit is 10 miles per hour through Clayville. I'm at Richfield Junction in Cassville, New York. There is a Y here. It is out of service. These tracks on the other side of the Y used to lead to Richfield Springs. And those tracks were torn up in the early 1990s. About a mile of the old Richfield Springs branch remains intact. I've never got the plow here, but I figured this would be a great location to catch them today. They are just over the summit of Paris Hill and it's downhill to Waterville and Sangerfield. A 
so Vito's mad that I didn't take him to see the plow train today, so we're going to follow it a little bit more. This is Higby Road in Utica. I trust you're happy now. So the crew tied down the plow on the industrial track, on the industrial siding. I'm just east of French Road in Utica. And they're likely going to pick up some cars before heading back to the yard. So being the curious kind of guy he is, Vitol wanted to walk over and take a closer look at the plow. I just sounded the horn for French Road. You'll notice some appropriate artwork there. I always thought this was number 95, but that sure looks like a three to me. So please let me know where you're watching this video from. It's always of great interest to me and I have it on good authority that the crew is also intrigued about the widespread viewership of these videos. So let us know.